Hey guys, Lene Monet here and I am back with another video. All right guys, so today I'm gonna to be making my drunken peach cobbler French toast. So if this is your thing, then stay tuned because we're about to get right into the video. All right y'all, look, I'm ready to get into the video. Hey, okay, hold on. I just had to do a little dance break, that's all that was. A little bit of a dance break, you know? Corvette, Corvette, hopping up with the jet like that. Hey. Tell me something good. Oh, I'm about to tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me that you like it. Yeah. We're going to start with the bread because we need to get our slices nice and thick. Thick, 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 thick. Hey. Okay. So I got me some brioche bread. Um, I would prefer you use something that is a thicker bread, possibly sweeter. Um, you can use regular white bread if that's all you got, baby. You know, I'm all down. I am down for making it work. So if you got regular white bread, just try not to soak it too much because white bread and wheat, regular wheat bread does get soggy really fast. So just don't let it sit in that custard too long because it's going to be wet and mushy. And uh-uh, I don't like that. I don't like that. All right. Girl, you're looking good. Won't you back that suck? <laughs> I'm already starting. I'm sorry, y'all. I can't help it. I really can't. All right, I'm just going to cut the butt off because, you know, I ain't really a big fan of the butt. So then I'm going to cut them about this thick right here. A nice thick piece. Woo! Yes! Get into it! Well, now you better get into it how it's supposed to be gotten into my mother supposed to come and see me so i'm gonna cut her some slices too show because she one of them people who come over here immediately asking what you cut oh off the jump hey ma how you doing you know good morning ma <laughs> good morning yeah what you cook okay so here her slices is here too you know it's here too you gonna take them just sit them on a um just sit them somewhere i like to put them right there because it'll allow it to dry out just a little bit so I put them on a um a cooling rack, but you don't have to do that. Just sit them somewhere where they can breathe a, a hair. Cause you don't want them too soft. Brioche is a very soft bread. So you want it to dry out just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of love. Hey, a little bit. Oh, y'all not ready for baby. I'll be giving you nothing but the hits. Okay. All right, let's move on. <laughs> so while we got our bread kind of sitting off to the side just to let it kind of air out a little bit because it's really soft so you want it a little firm on the outside so you get that soft crunch on the inside if you know what i'm talking about if you know you know so you're gonna need you some sliced peaches and heavy syrup you need that syrup because okay girl she said i don't need that my bad my bad i-n-d-e-p-e-n-d-e-n-t do you know what that means she got her own opener okay Sorry, I got a little carried away. Yeah, so you're going to need you some sliced peaches and heavy syrup because we're going to use that as our syrup for our French toast. Right? Right. Add you some sugar. Like I say all the time, I made this with my peach cobbler drunken bites. You can go back on there. I showed you exactly how to make this. So this will be my second time making this on my page. Um, so yeah, you're going to need you some sugar. You're going to need you some brown sugar. And this is all based on your own personal preference. My suggestion, taste it. <laughs> okay. Vanilla extract. Right? A little bit of that. Some cinnamon. Now, you got to have cinnamon for French toast. Portion. Cinnamon. Nutmeg. Don't get too crazy with that nutmeg now. All right. And a pinch of salt. I'm telling you, salt just brings the flavor out of sweet things. You should always add just a hair of salt. I promise you it ain't going to make it go crazy unless you go crazy with the salt. Then that's on you. Okay, because ain't nobody do that but you. Okay, guess what I got? <laughs> guess what? Ooh, ooh. Now she went with my crew. This is con yeah. Oh, yeah. We getting right on it, too. Hey, girl. This is her second time here. She said, what's up, y'all? She said, what's up? How y'all doing? <laughs> How y'all doing? We're going to put a shot of cognac in that thing. Like so. Ooh. Yes. Part of me wants to put more. Okay, but I can't. I'm go ahead and mix this around. Mix it all up. 
then guess what we're going to do? Take a while, guess is what we're going to do. Ta I'm going to taste it. That's why I'm going to taste it. That's what I'm going to do. Y'all, this tastes so bomb. Mm. Now, that's good. Now, let's start on our slurry. So we're going to quickly make a slurry. Don't don't laugh at me, y'all. This is the cornstarch that I'm going to use. Do not laugh at me, okay? Oh, my God. I'm touching it. Oh, my God. I don't have no gloves. Oh, Jesus, y'all. I cannot touch cornstarch. So, excuse me if you see me literally freaking out. I'm shaking. I'm sorry. Oh, Jesus. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't even know how much that was because I was freaking out for a second. Um, okay. Oh, get off of me. Oh, Jesus. Just about a tablespoon. You just gonna add water. And mix it real good. So just mix it up to make a slurry to thicken up um, our peach syrup. What is it? A teaspoon of cornstarch and then I add it about a third or so of water it should be nice and loose like this this is how you want it to be and you're just going to pour that into your peach cobbler mix let me show you what i'm talking about elva um a medium heat i'm gonna put it over medium heat because i got it between medium and medium high but i'm gonna put it over medium heat and i'm gonna add me some butter to this pan this this butter so hard every time child every time it's hard every time all right so boom okay so once your butter is nice and melted you're gonna take your peaches your nice mixture that we put together and put it right on in there. Like zit. And I'm going to take me a lemon wedge and just squeeze that right on. This is just an additional step. You do not have to do this, but everything brings out the flavor a little bit more. So I do use a little lemon in that thing. Okay. Bring it up to a boil. All right. So now that we got it to a boil, we're going to turn it down to a medium low. And then you're just going to take your slurry and pour it in there to thicken it up. Mix it around. Put your top on it. Go ahead and let it simmer for about five to seven minutes. So what you're going to need is milk, heavy whipping cream, salt, cinnamon, vanilla extract, nutmeg, eggs, a little bit more of that special juice, baby. Just a little bit, okay? And I guess a measuring cup, some brown sugar and regular sugar. Okay, so to start, we're going to go ahead, crack our large egg, okay? And first, you're going to start with the heavy whipping cream because you don't need a lot of it. That's why I said get you a measuring cup because I'm trying to give y'all measurements. You hear me? So you're going to need about one-fourth of heavy whipping cream. And that's just going to give it a very rich flavor. It depends on if you want a rich flavor or not. If that's not really your thing, then just stick with milk. I can't drink whole milk, so this is 2% milk, which is why I added the heavy whipping cream. Um, but if you can do whole milk, do whole milk. So I did a half a cup of 2% um, milk for me. But you will use the same measurements. Um, then you're going to add some nutmeg. About that much. Some same thing you use for this the peach syrup that we just came together with. Same thing. Vanilla extract. Use about two capsules of that. Some cinnamon. Cinnamon. Depends on how much you like. That's your prerogative. I'm gonna add a little bit of sugar. some salt right my favorite part this is my favorite part y'all don't tell nobody this is my favorite part in a shot boo boo of cone yet you just gonna mix this around like this told y'all I was gonna bump like this y'all didn't think that I could bump like this all right, now we can start dipping our bread and getting it started. Let's get into it. All right, so I wanted to show y'all something because it's only been about it's only been about three three minutes or so. But you see how that sauce has started to thicken up. Now at this point, you can decide: Do I like that? For me, I want it a little thicker, so I'm gonna go ahead and just add the rest of that slurry in it, and that should give it the consistency that I would like. And you're just going to let it go ahead and finish simmering on that medium-low heat. 
Ooh, this is gonna be good, child. I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait. Yes. All right, let's get started on our French toast. Give that a nice little whiskey, whiskey, whiskey. Then you're just gonna take your pieces of bread. You're gonna make sure it's soaking that good old custard up. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Yes. Yes. All right. All right, girl, you got other people coming. You can't just decide you're gonna take it all up and just sit it back on your cooling rack because you wanna make sure it's not too soggy. You wanna make sure it's not dripping um, too much custard. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good stuff. Oof, okay. Sit it down. I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit just to get all that excess custard off. Make sure it penetrates, <laughs> get into the penetration. I know y'all know a little something about that, <laughs> okay? Let it penetrate that bread how it's supposed to. Then we're gonna fry them bad boys. <laughs> All right, so I have my cast iron. If you don't have a cast iron, just make sure you use a non-stick pan and you're good to go, baby, baby. I'm gonna use about a tablespoon of butter and I am gonna use some olive oil as well just to give it an additional crisp. So about that much. That's a teaspoon, by the way. While that's doing this thing, let me show y'all how, um, how the peach cobbler turned out. Woo! Yes, you see that sauce? Mm-hmm. That's it right there. That's it. All right. So once your pan is nice and hot, put that thing in that pan like that. I have this between medium and medium high, by the way. It shouldn't take that long to fry it up. You're looking at about two minutes on each side. All right, and it should look something like this. Okay. All right, y'all. So here we have our drunken peach cobbler French toast oh oh my god i cannot wait i really can't i don't know how i'm waiting i don't know how i'm doing it but yes get into it baby yum Woo, baby hey baby hey baby we in the club singing hey baby hey hey baby yes i am here okay bow Amen. I don't want to waste another second. You hear me? Not another second. Not another one. Uh-uh. Get some of that whipped cream. Mmm. 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 What are we even talking about? What are we even talking about? The way that thing just hit my stomach and my stomach said, thank you so much. You are more than welcome. Mmm. Y'all. What in the world? Who did that? I did. Mmm. I do some meat. Some potatoes, some eggs, a little cup of orange juice or mimosa. Shout It's looking like a winner, winner chicken dinner. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. Okay. Slow down. Slow down. Now, I don't know who told it to go and taste like that, but I'm glad it did. I'm going to tell you that right now. Oh, what a way to start your morning off, okay? Well, look, I just want to speak some positivity into you real quick and let you know that if no one else has told you, I see you, baby. I see you shining. You're reaching milestones. You're trying. You're working hard. You're putting in the effort, okay? You excel into the next level, okay? You're testing boundaries, and I'm proud of you, okay? And I want you to continue. I want you to keep pushing yourself to the limit, and I want you to keep striving for success and the betterment of yourself at the end of the day, all right? Because this is your life. You have total and full control over what happens next. And even if you don't, you can always control your emotions and how you react to it. So it's important to have a lot of self-awareness, okay? All right, guys. Well, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, hit that notification bell so you'll know every time I upload. <laughs> Until next time, guys. Peace.